electrons and it will heat up to the four. I'm going to go to I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the So probably not even going to be time for a run. Which is okay. We should all be ready, eh? Right, so just move quickly, please. We've only got a couple of minutes. Yeah. 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 Everyone's sweet. The building, in part, it's a, it's a moment in time. In part, it is a beautiful new structure. It, it's also an opportunity for us to bring our community back together. Asserting where we're going forward, what our new direction is. What is the impact that we want to create as a group? And in doing so, also understand where we've come from. And uh, being able to capture that in the haka is something that we're all very proud of. It was actually a really affirming process as a group and really drew us together as a community. <laughs> Haka is a very important part of who we are as New Zealanders. We perform haka at 21sts, we perform haka at funerals, we celebrate haka at weddings. So in a lot of ways it's who we are as a people, bringing both people together as one and sharing that and taking that to the world. Through haka we are able to share our stories and I think it's quite important that people know what the message is behind the hooker. The Faculty of Engineering has a long history and a history which is built by many resilient people who used to be first on the city campus and they moved out to Ardmore before coming back into the city. But particularly in the Ardmore years, they were a more isolated group. They had a very strong bond of community between them. And they used to come into the city and they were well known for capping pranks. They were well known for creating what I think started off as a fun, potentially irreverent series of acts, but it got progressively more out of touch. And that was both most iconically characterized in the huckers they used to do, where they would come in and, and really mock the haka. And that got increasingly difficult, increasingly uncomfortable. And the local Māori understandably found it increasingly offensive. When I decided to study engineering, I got mixed responses from some family members uh, on my mum's side, who are um, mainly Māori. When I would, you know, say, you know, I'm going to the University of Auckland to study engineering, the immediate reaction wasn't always like, oh, you know, great. Or it it might have been, you know, oh, and then I, you know, probe a little bit deeper. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, no, it's um, just remember that haka. In my role as kaiarahi, when I sort of go out and visit communities, people will often say, oh, you work there. Oh, how's the haka? <laughs> um, so, you know, it's something that actually has been tied to engineering. For a lot of Māori of that generation, you may not necessarily know a whole lot about engineering, but when you hear engineering, you think of the haka and the haka party and everything that went along with it. Māori have like a long memory when it comes to that kind of thing. We, we still talk about tribal incidents that happened many lifetimes before us and they're, and they're still very alive in our memories. And so we have something so significant as the Haka Party, which was definitely a trampling on of our mana, not only of Māori in this area, but of you know Māori all over the country, all over the island. To not have that addressed for so long, um, definitely lingered and definitely left a sore or a scab that just festered for so long. Engineering is still seen as pale, style and male. And so I guess acknowledging that actually that's where we've come from, that we understand that and that we actually don't want to have to repeat that history, that we're in a time of change. 
embracing the diversity that exists within our faculty and also importantly that actually we're at the place where we will provide a place that values mātauranga Māori and everything that comes with that. The haka, it was really an interesting discussion. It was a discussion that we had as a, as a group and again as a community. We really wanted a haka that said and captured something about us. Um, and we worked with Tapeta Wehi, who did a fantastic job of both listening to us and then reflecting back what we were saying and saying, how did we do that in a way that did justice and did pride to a haka and something we could all feel part of going forward. I took a deep breath first and then just had to have a bit of a, a think about it. And knowing the history, I thought this was my time to come in. And I remember going into the executive and having a meeting with the board and then um, Rather than me coming up with all the ideas, the first thing I said was, this haka belongs to you, so it has to come from you. And we shared stories. Um, the name of the haka um, is an important one, and it talks about the past and the future. Me hoki whakamuri ke anga whakamua, which is acknowledging the past to move boldly into the future. There are very few times in your career when you can be absolutely sure you were standing at a pivot point in history and this is one of them. We had what we were before and from this point forward we will have what we're going to be and it's great to be here at that turning point. You have all these people from different nations who are so excited about the opportunity to learn a haka. It's hard to put words around how that makes me feel as a Māori, the dedication to actually making sure that they get it right on the day. And another thing I've enjoyed is the nervousness. <laughs> it excites me to think that we're going to get up at dawn, that we're going to walk through that building, and then at the end of it, having blessed the site, that we are then going to stand as the sun rises and do our haka. And so here we are, the Faculty of Engineering. Te heringa mātai pukaha. overwhelmed um, just a lot of excitement you know it's a new day new building new haka for engineering and I think it's I don't know I just feel really good right now Whew, what a journey yeah what a journey I mean you know eight weeks ago 
I had a room full of 95% had never done a haka before. So I knew it was a big challenge. And, uh, you know, I like challenges. And that's part of our haka is uh, ko takoto te manuka, hiki na te manuka, which means the challenge has been laid. Take on the challenge. And you would have seen this morning, it's really brought them together. That's the power of haka, man. Yeah, it's powerful. As someone who has been dean for the last period, the opportunity to stand shoulder to shoulder with my staff and my students and uh, define that rallying call with, with a haka, which is something that every New Zealander growing up watches and, and aspires to be part of, was one of the most exciting and inspiring moments of my whole academic career.